Well, let's see. Doesn't everybody get their work in a bar, boy? I'll tell you. Yeah, here, but that's really not critical. What do we got up top? Half a mil. Yeah, the six hundred thousand one doesn't look too bad. Open for a nine hundred, but we'll take this one. It's a funny thing. Like, on the missions where they say, well, we've sent some ships out to help you, sometimes that's a good Enemy thing. Enemy ships will be at the mission waypoint. See the nav map for further details. Sometimes it just gets in the way of pasting everybody with torpedoes. Of course, on these missions you can get a, a good solid wing of the advanced defenders there, you know, the, the Juni defenders, um, all armed up with the uh, level 10 Diamondbacks. They're helpful. Unless you clip one of them with a torpedo and then things get headachy. Oh yeah, it's just a problem. Little bit of time lapse there. And we're a little closer to the action. Let's see how this goes. Okay, cut the main engines here. This is good. It's a really tight area as far as space debris is concerned. That doesn't bode well for torpedoes. Hostile ships in range. We've marked them to make them easier to spot. You can't take what I'm dishing out. That's possible, depending on what the how those do. Yeah, some got through. Three on one, I like my odds. Right. These must be pretty high level ships if they're only sending this many. You really can't hit you too much if you've got your thrusters on. Okay. Take out the shields. Aha! I had a feeling that was going to happen. Takes two to kill him. Takes out at least one. Sometimes you'll get multiple kills. And we're back to a, a standard four selection here. And, you know, four on one's about the normal. Hopefully that'll take out at least one of them. Now, you can sometimes have an easier time of things if you target... Well, not target, but if you aim at one of the non-targeted ships. Because the targeted ship tends to go evasive. Whereas the other ships are coming straight at you. I killed somebody? That's... that's, that's and this one, it takes them a minute to realize they're being shot at. I don't know why that is. Something in the air. They will pick it up eventually. This, this tactic only works a little while. You have to go back and shoot the main target so they think that you're playing the game the right way, I guess. This is the, the one aspect of the game I really hope they keep with, um final version of Star Citizen, because you want that feel of, you know, powerful guns blasting the crap out of spaceships. Oh, dear. Last ship. Here we go. Oh, you're okay. My son's heading for the TV here. Good job, but you're not done yet. There are more hostiles at the next waypoint. I hate it when there's more hostiles at the next waypoint. Alright, we need to go towards that Niobium.
Where did the niobium go? Oh, come on, I hate when I kick something off and I lose niobium. I load up niobium? Well, consumer goods aren't bad, but that niobium is nice. Can we find it? Going back a little bit further. <sighs> my reset, darn it. Silly mistake on my part. Okay, let's see how this works out. Kill all the outcast ships. With any luck, I'll take a couple out of both groups. Oh, we got we got backup. And I didn't kill any of my backups, so that's good. Now those don't look like particularly powerful um, backup. I'm not seeing the the, uh, the glow of like a Diamondback kind of thing. Quite standard defender weapons here. Kill them now. Well, on the other hand, let's let's do this. Let's let's scan them. See what are they using? Standard defenders. Class fives. Yeah, these are not. Okay, we better we better warm these guys up for them. Oh, almost hurt myself there. Normally I don't like to do a close run like that, but you want to stay ahead of everybody. When you're doing, you, you got backup in place here. You know, you don't, you want to make sure that, uh, you know, make sure your backup doesn't uh, outrun your torpedoes and then get blown up. So full speed run there. Focus on this guy. The other trick is it's not as important with class fives, but you want to make sure that you don't uh, fly into a whole bunch of level ten guns at some point. You did it. The area is clear. And area well secured. Let's Command see what we got off. here. Any niobium? No. So it's as good as it gets. Head back to you know, you know. Oh, now with a little luck, Dog. we'll get a much bigger mission here. Usually, you know, you have to do one or two missions just to get to the uh, the million dollar one. missions. Sometimes the million dollar missions are actually a little easier because you either A, get better backup, or B, they send higher level ships but fewer of them. It doesn't really matter what the level of ship is if you're launching torpedoes at them. Now again, very important thing to remember here, you do not want to shoot torpedoes at a, another player. You don't use that for PvP because it will end badly if the other person's worth anything. One cruise disruptor, and you're blown to smithereenies. Let's clear out. Oh, let's see, what's, what was the booty here? Don't repair the middle repair wing, of course. Complete. It's a base thing. Makes your ship a little smaller to the eyes of the missiles. And that you get to actually absorb less damage. For missiles, mines, torpedoes. Pretty much the, the loot you get covers the cost of your ammo. So 
So to do uh, more loot. Loot, loot, looted, loot. Now, can we get a good one? Like a really good one. 700? Well, I mean, 700 is not, that's pretty good, but I mean, I'm, I'm really, come on, gang, I want a, a 900, uh, H5, let's see, 20 and F7, let's call up the map, let's see, H5 is right there, F7, right there, it's a little bit further of a drive, that's still 720, and you know, you might get some backup on this. Great. Be seeing you. You take what you can get on these things. I really want like a 960,000 or a million dollar kind of dealio. But. Enemy ships will be at the mission waypoint. Refer to Let's the go blow some stuff up. Specific instructions. Okay, coming into range here. Try to get a good position on this. Looks like we have a pretty clear shot going in here. I'm gonna make sure this hurts in the worst way. Hostile ships in range. We marked them to make them easier to spot. This is good. We're getting clean, clean shots on at least two ships. All right, cut them in half. Hey, now they only sent four ships. They probably have better guns on them, but if I could take out two one way or another with the torpedoes, this becomes a little easier. Oh, here we go. Now we gotta you feed those in at kind of close range. They were able to outmaneuver my second torpedo, so now it gets interesting. Now we gotta outmaneuver everybody. And gun them down for the most part. The longer I stay on one, the more you'll see a lot of guns focusing on me. This will get tricky after a while. I almost, you know, collided him to death. Touched the brakes a little bit, just a little bit. Charge. See, this is when you get more than four on you, things get challenging. Okay, Let's engine kill, recharge. Well, let's reset this up a little bit here. They won't, for some reason, in engine kill backing up. There's a, a glitch in the game where they won't follow. Now you can't. You could theoretically get away from them if you weren't on a mission. See, that allows me to do another quick setup with torpedoes. Recoup some of my shield batteries here. Regroup. The ship handles a little bit with engine, differently with engine kill. It's more actually correct to physics. And that can be really useful at times. And then any time you back away, you'll get distance from them. Still getting hit. Wow, these guys are... Again, there must be slightly higher level uh, ships. I'm probably getting hit with Krakens at this point. But with just two of them left, I should be able to light these guys up pretty handily. This ship's set up with uh, Krakens and Nomad Guns. The Nomad Guns, of course, are standard because that they don't take any energy, so that uh, lets you shoot forever. The Krakens aren't uh, as effective against shields, but they're particularly effective, uh, you know, as far as hull guns are concerned. 
turn. Good job, but you're not done Against yet. There are more hostiles at the next waypoint. Ah, uh, I hit when I misfire on the What I'm doing to cut in on them is I'm hitting the uh, reverse thrust. You can watch the numbers on my velocity go down to minus 15. Just where I tap in like that, and then that allows me to keep inside of them. And behind them, for that matter. But you, get, you can't use it too much, because whenever you're backing up, they'll land in hits on you. you know? Pretty much the percentage of uh, hits that land on your shields or hull is determined by how many guns are shooting at you here and, uh, well, not how many guns, but, you know, basically what your velocity is. Do you keep your velocity up? Turning helps, too. I'm not sure why I'm only pulling 177 here. Should be able to get pretty close to 200. Oh, I'm still in go, too. That's a problem. Dodge around a little bit, get them lined up here. Every once in a while the mines will clip somebody and they're useful, so if I'm really outnumbered and there's a lot of ships around me, I will dump mines, but I don't think we need them for today. Okay, because there's extra debris, I'll have to look later and see what's going on. You'll notice that the backup that was promised never came. That happens sometimes. I was I was letting it coast in space for a while while I did some other things, so that could have an effect on it. I'm not sure. No, here we go. Take the furthest one away. Break, spin, spin, fire. Pick another one. Fire. Hopefully that weakens the group. And that didn't do anything. So we're gonna engine kill and kick out. Cause that's a lot of guns. You really gotta get some distance here. Uh, when you're trying to, to coast away from them and it kicks you sideways, that's a problem. You need to be facing them to get any kind of distance. I might back this up really until it gives me warnings. Get back into battle. You're not being paid to run. Quit your whining. You're back within range of the waypoint. Try to keep it that way. I'm hoping something landed there. It doesn't look like anything. I'm gonna have to shoot my way out of this. Okay, this is where I started saying I'm talking about dumping mines. Because there's a lot of ships here. And a quick minefield at least will confuse them. Get some some hits going here. Engine kill, kick out. Oh darn! This is not going right. Until my shields get back up, and 40 seconds is a long time. Target the closest one. I'm in gun range. Back within range of the waypoint. Try to keep it that way. Now this happens every once in a while. Sometimes it seems like 
you lose effectiveness on the torpedoes. I'm not exactly sure why that is, but it seems like they have a, a much lower chance of hitting. I don't know if it's because they're all they're not coming in straight at you and they're scrambling around like bees. You know, the torpedoes don't track very well. Speed here. Come on, let's go. Let's switch to uh, alternate targets. All right, bend him down. All right, he's wounded. That's good. Some benefit of shooting those torpedoes. Alright, now we're back down to you know, one on three, and that's not too bad. One on four is about the most uncomfortable with my shields being able to handle without having to use a lot of batteries and bots and everything else. Love that Star Wars reference. Jimmy baby, hold together. Okay, once we get another wave, we should be good. Come on. Bring it, Alma. Alma, tell us. All modern women are jealous. You did it. The area is clear. Well done. Mission Commission signing off. See, the pharmaceuticals are kind of low out here. We farm and silver. I'm willing to give this one more shot. One more, uh... Mission. The EAPF does not exist. Note to that. In case you're wondering, that doesn't stand for the Evil Admin Pirate Force. Or Evil Admin Police Force, or Evil Admin... Evil Admin is the kind of thing. I think it's Evil Admin Pirate Force, but it could be the Evil Admin Police Force. Anytime you see a really weird, almost infinitely powerful ship just appear in front of you out of a cloaking device, that's certainly not the EAPF, even though they're tagged EAPF. They don't exist. You didn't see it. <sighs> okay, we want the starboard wing fixed. We actually took some damage. Starboard wing. And the rest of it's the loot. Repair complete. Of course, you want to trim your wings off because then you'll lose guns. Guns is kind of a thing you want to keep. There's some good loot here from this one, though. Loot, 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 loot. Hornets are good. Loot on this end, not as good. This is, yeah, it's a little mediocre stuff, but you just get rid of it and it's fine. All right. Now, we'll, after that laborious effort at the 700,000 level, will it give me one of the bigger missions? Come on. Big mission, big mission, big mission, big mission. It's so nice to see you again, Trent. You too. Have anything? Well, I am looking for someone to do a job. What else? Sounds okay so far. 750,000. No, no. Well, maybe. We'll see. We'll decline for right now. Do, 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 do. There. That's what we've been looking for. And the bounty hunters aren't that bad as far as backup. They're not as good as some of them, but they're, yeah, they're definitely, you know, they've got those, those level 9 guns on there. Enemy ships will be at the mission waypoint. Refer to the nav map for specific instructions. It's been a long time since they've flown a hammerhead. I haven't done that in a while. Stylistically, of course, it's one of the best ships in the game, looking like the Slave 1, kind of. Star Wars. If I need to tell you that the slave ones from Star Wars, you're probably not playing this game. 
I'm guessing there's a lot of Star Wars freelancer overlap. Just guessing. Could be wrong. Okay, we're flying towards the sun, which... All these little spiky things, which I don't know if they're supposed to be spiky asteroids of some nature, or alien artifacts of some nature, or some... I forget exactly how they think that basically drift, spiky driftwood would appear in space. I don't know what the basis for that is. Enemy ships in range. We're painting them so you can ID them easily. I'm gonna rip you up one side and down the other. Well, we'll see how that goes. Alright. Here comes the cavalry. Well, that was... That was one of those cases where not targeting the uh, the targeted ship worked there because it wasn't in it wasn't in an evasive mode. Okay, target the new ships. Put some torpedoes in before they get there. So not. Okay, we got one. Now, I haven't annoyed the bounty hunters. Good. Got them up. You only get loot from ships that you kill, so otherwise like, you could theoretically just let the bounty hunters kill them all and see how things work out, you know, but... If you're going for the gusto, you want to let them wear them down. You did it. The area is clear. See, now, wasn't that much more easy at, uh... It was much easier at 910,000 than it was at 720. That's, you know, we get some consumer goods. Do anything that's crap up in here? Silver. Let's dump the silver. Beam the consumer goods. Consumer goods are good. The um, the Holy Grail in Alaska system is, of course, niobium. It's like 2,200 over at the uh, Yuno you know shipyard. But there's other ways of getting uh, niobium very easily. Have to see if I ever did the old you know to Falkland run here on the YouTube's. Dog. Acknowledged. Your request to dock is granted. Please Probably to dock did. Long. I'll throw it in the description if I can find it. That's another way to make nice amounts of money pretty quickly bouncing between you know and uh, you don't know. No, between <laughs> here in Falkland over in Tau Theta 7. It's a lot of bland driving, but you know, if you just uh. If you're, one of those things where if you're paying the bills or doing something else and there's nobody on server that's actually going to hunt you and you've got a neutral ship, good way to make money. Whee! Time to park. Well, let's see, now how did we do here? I only used six torpedoes on it. That's kind of impressive here. It's don't fix the middle wing. Repair complete. Do fix the Hornet. Sell the Hornet. Sell this, sell that, sell the other thing, and the thing with the other thing, thing and the thing with the thing, and the... And let's see, what we got some consumer goods and some silver. Yeah, I'm not going to do another mission, but I am going to tease myself here and see if they, they keep racking up million dollar missions. 360. You can't escape, you don't have to talk to him. That's what I've been doing. Oh, hey, how you doing? Hey, good to see you. Hey. Yeah, let's see. Do, 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 750. No. And now I feel better about saying that's all for this video. This is the Black Knight, everybody. Have a great night.
I'll have to look and see if I ever did the uh, good old uh, you know to Falkland run on uh, on YouTube. Oh, what's he? What's wrong now? He didn't want to go into his bouncy chair. <laughs> 